This is an ingot of genuinely mythical metal. It might not look like much, but one of its raw forms both prompted and funded literal wars. That same raw form was used by everyone from artisans to alchemists, and it was sometimes a substitute for money. It isn't silver though, and in fact, up until the 19th century, nobody in history had ever even seen the pure metal. Believe it or not, this is aluminum. It's so boring! Now a lot of folks think of aluminum as literal trash, but it used to be worth almost twice as much as 24 karat gold. I'll explain why in a second, but first, let's talk about the metal's name. I've been calling it aluminum, and that isn't just because I have an American accent. It was originally called alumium, but the guy who came up with that, a British chemist named Humphrey Davy, later changed it to aluminum. Aluminium didn't show up until 1812, and it only appeared because someone at the Quarterly Review just didn't like the word aluminum. Since it was a brand new term though, and since it didn't break any rules, aluminium stuck. <coughs> Still, regardless of what the metal was called, aluminum hadn't actually been isolated by that point. Scientists knew that it was there, but they couldn't figure out how to effectively extract it. See, metallic aluminum is all but completely non-existent in nature, so for decades after its discovery, the pure stuff really was a bit of a myth. There were reports of people catching glimpses of it, but it wasn't until 1854 that a French chemist named Henri Deville managed to create some aluminum bars. He called the metal the silver from clay, and while it wasn't quite as enchanting as actual silver, it was still pretty exciting. Aluminum is the fourth most conductive element. It's incredibly light for its strength, and it's one of the easiest metals to work, after it's gone through a complicated process using a lot of dangerous materials, that is. A display of DeVille's ingots was one of the main attractions at the 1855 World's Fair, and for a while after that, aluminum was mainly used to make jewelry and luxury items. It was literally the most valuable metal in existence, but it didn't take long to lose its luster. Speaking of losing, the word lose is spelled with only one O. L-O-O-S-E is loose, or the opposite of tight. It can be a verb like set free or fling, but if you mean misplace or be defeated, remember to lose the second O. Oh, shut up. Anyway, in the late 1880s, the process for refining aluminum was itself refined, and the metal was suddenly as common as the clay whence it came. That was great for the march of progress, it let us build stuff like airplanes, but almost overnight, aluminum went from being a precious metal to being a replacement for tin. Nowadays, folks would rather throw it away than adorn themselves with it. There are a few exceptions, but we'll save sapphires and rubies for another time. Still, the next time that you take out the recycling, just think, less than 200 years ago, Loose aluminum would have been far too valuable to lose.